It's knit in magpie fibers, and you can see Blue is losing her little mind right now. That's all right. Hey everyone, I'm Haley. This is Bitter Kitten Crafts, and this is Boo. And today I wanted to talk about this giant bin of stuff. Um, so I have let a lot of projects linger and not finish them over the past couple years, and I figured the new year, 2023, is a good time to kind of go through all my stuff, figure out what I'm going to finish, what I'm going to frog, um, what I'm going to keep in my whip bin for a while and sit on and decide. Um, <laughs> and Boo is settling in nicely, so that's good. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to show you all what is in my whip bin. Um, and you can help me decide whether or not I should finish it or frog it. Um, but first, let's start with what I'm wearing. So this is the Coffee Bean Cardigan. Um, I made a ton of mods to this pattern. I'll link it below. The designer has since updated it to make it more kind of finished and polished, and I'm really glad she did. Um, the construction is just, it's like a no short rows, just like a worsted weight raglan cardigan. So I'll probably make more um, for sure. I really like how the stripes turned out. It's kind of just a scrappy, my first cardigan I've ever made. So I just finished up a ton of gift knits. I did a lot of holiday gift knitting this year, which was really exciting. Um, but I finally finished everything and it's been gifted. So I started something for myself, which is, this is, boo, give me that please. This is the Bubble Feet Crop, the very beginnings of it, um, by Jessie Made. And I have knit this pattern before, so I'm doing a couple mods to make it kind of perfect for me this time. This is Junk Yarn DK. Um, it's like a pretty neon speckle. And Boo really likes string. Um, and then the body of it is going to be this awesome neon yellow. Thank you, Boo. <laughs> it's going to be this awesome neon yellow. This is... Um, Good Coochie Kopi. It's from my friend Katie Sue, the Scran Stitcher. It's from her Bob's Burgers colorways. Um, so if you watch Bob's Burgers, you know that this is Louise's little toy, um, her little Coochie Kopi guy. And this is like the perfect color for it. And I think it's going to make an awesome sweater. So I have three skeins of this and one of the neon speckle. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be enough for a bubble V crop. Um, so that's my one kind of active whip right now. I'll put it out of Boo's reach. <laughs> um, and let's get started with my giant bit of stuff. So I don't really know what's in each bag because a lot of them, some of them have been sitting in this bin for two years. They've moved with me multiple times, like still in their project bags. So I'm really excited. I think that this is like the perfect time to kind of go through this bin and really eliminate some stuff that I know I just honestly won't be finishing. Um, so starting with this, okay, so this is the Shifty Hat by Andrea Mowry. It's knit in Magpie Fibers, um, Swanky Sock, which is like a, ma a merino cashmere nylon blend, and then Spin Cycle Scraps, um, and this is going in the frog pile for sure. So I actually initially um, cast on this brim for a different hat, and then I didn't like how the slip stitches in that pattern were, like they weren't very stretchy with this yarn, um, so I didn't really like that, so I frogged it. But I kept the brim, and I ended up choosing the shifty. Boo. Come on, please. <laughs> so I ripped it out, and I just kept the brim. Um, and then this fall, I started the shifty pattern with the spin cycle scraps I have. And the colors are just not doing it for me. I don't know if you can see. It's, like, pretty... It doesn't really stand out from the yarn, and because this cashmere merino nylon blend is pretty slippy, there's the gauge is just too loose. Um, and I think that these spin cycle scraps could definitely be put to better use because spin cycle is kind of like a bit of a hot commodity. So I definitely want to put these into something that I'll wear and use. Um, so I'll probably do the same thing I did before, which is go all the way back and frog all the way back to the brim, but keep the brim because it's perfectly fine it's just one by one ribbing and honestly if I can avoid doing that again I will so I have plenty of yarn left I could probably make a beanie out of just this blue so I think right now that's my plan um is to just frog back to the brim and keep the brim and save the spin cycle for something else um so that's one in the frog pile which is exciting so let's look at the next one. So this is in my bag from The Sincere Sheep. Um, they have a ton of these bags with different breeds of sheep and different animals that make fibers. Like I have a moth one too, a silk moth one. And I think they have like an angora rabbit one. They're really, really cute. Um, they're just like little cotton drawstring bags. And this is, okay, this is uh, My Little Secret 
tank top um, by Jessie Made, and honestly, it's I'm not sure why I didn't finish it. Um, I am on the straps. I finished the entire body. This yarn is a cotton blend with acrylic from Joanne. It's K and C Element yarn, and I think I have like three different colors going on in here with the blue and the navy and the purple. Um, and it's cute. I don't know. I think I maybe just like got overwhelmed by doing double knitting straps for a long time, but I don't know why I didn't finish it. Like I have the yarn here. So this is going to be in the keep pile and I'm actually hoping maybe I can finish this um, before the end of the year just to add another finished object to my list because this is really close to being done. It's silly that I didn't finish it. Um, that's yeah, that's a bit silly that I didn't finish that one. So this is a bag from Rosa Pumaria. The bag is from Looped, which is my local yarn store. It's a granny, tattooed granny knitting, which is so cool. And one of my friends from my knit group and I got matching bags. Um, and this is another Jessie Made pattern, shockingly. Boo. So this is another Jessie Made pattern. This is the ripple crop top. Um, and I actually made quite a bit of progress on this. I think I have over a full skein of yarn in here already. Um, and this is the Noro yarn. This is Noro Mirai. So it's a silk cotton and like random other stuff blend. It is cotton, silk, viscose, and polyamide. Um, so it's really pretty. Um, the stripes are turning out really, really cute. And I've knit with this yarn before. I made <laughs> the Ripple Bralette, another Jessie Made pattern with this. Um, and I really liked it. So I think immediately after that, I cast this on. And then I guess the weather just got cold and I just was not into the three by three ribbing um, with silk cotton when it was starting to get cold. So I put this on pause, but this one will definitely be finished. Um, I'm hoping to wear this in the springtime this year. So definitely I'm gonna finish this one. So this is a bag I got at one of the little fiber festivals around here. It's just like a cute little hand sewn bag, but it's cool because it has this smocking where it can hold kind of a lot more stuff than it looks. And this is a shawl by Amba O'Brien that I cast on with some single ply in my stash. And I think that I stopped knitting this because I somehow messed up on the lace or I don't have the right number of stitches or something. It's a really pretty pattern. Um, and this yarn is from the Knot House in Frederick, Maryland, which is really, really sadly closing. Um, I have three or four skeins of yarn for this shawl. Um, so this is like some of the first hand dyed yarn I ever bought. It's Madeline Tosh Merino Light. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had like a really soft spot in my heart for this yarn for a while. I didn't really understand that like you can't really make a garment out of single ply or it will pill. So I have been trying so hard to use up all of this single ply in my stash for like literally a year now. And I, this is like almost the end of it. So I think this is going to be frogged, or I'm going to re-knit the pattern because um, the yarn is beautiful and it's really pretty together, but I don't know what I did wrong that the lace is messed up. Um, and it's just like pretty simple lace, like yarn over, knit two together, pretty simple. Um, so I'm definitely going to try again with this pattern. I don't know the name of it. I'll put it below here. It's an Amber O'Brien pattern. Um, I really like her patterns. So... That's that one. That's a keep and a frog, kind of, because I'm definitely going to try again. This is an empty bag. I made this bag, actually. It's like one of the first and few things I've ever sewn, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is a hat I need to frog. This is something I need to frog. This bin is a mess. I'm very sorry. Um, let's see. Here we go. So this... Yeah, this is a bigger project. This is the Amy Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. I had, in July, knit the entire body and knit the entire, entire body with all these beautiful stripes of gray and purple mohair scraps um, and a couple cashmere merino nylon scraps in here. But this is gonna be a really, really warm cardigan when it's done. Um, and I did pick up the entire neckband and start the ribbing. I think that I tried to do the sleeves and I messed up the short rows for the set in sleeves somehow. And so then I just kind of abandoned it completely. Um, sorry, the mohair is tickling me. This has been in a bag for a little while. You can tell it's like super crumpled. I would really, really like to finish this. I put in 
literally hours of work on the body of this. I mean, look at the beautiful stripes of all these scraps of mohair that I had. Um, so I'd really, really like to finish this one um, before the weather gets warm again so I can take advantage of my work and wear it. Um, I think it's really pretty. So this is a cute little bag I got off Etsy. They're like little roly-poly sheep. I really like it and yarn. Um, this is a beanie, barely a beginning of a beanie that was supposed to be a gift knit in probably 2020 that I have since abandoned. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. It's cute, it's pretty. It's mohair held with cashmere merino, so it's really soft. Maybe I'll finish it, maybe I won't. Who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna leave this one in its bag. So this is the mohair. I got it on clearance from Second Story Stitch in Bethesda, Maryland. And then, boom. All right, we're almost there. Not really, that's okay. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff in this bin. It's kind of embarrassing that I haven't finished all this stuff. Here is another Sincere Sheep bag. So I've got the Wensleydale, and this is the Navajo Churro um, breed of sheep. And in here is something that I messed up on, but I'd really like to finish. But I might frog, because since I cast this on, I have, my body has changed a little bit, um, and I am no longer this circumference. So I may need to kind of rethink this project. So this is a silk t-shirt. I was using the numbers from the Mount Pleasant tee um, by Pippin Pin, um, but I didn't do the lace detail because I really liked this purple ribbing. Um, so this is two skeins of silk from a local farm near me, Avalon Springs, up in Maryland. And this is just the body of a tee that I, I messed up. I, so I got all the way to the neck um, and I was casting off for the neck and counting the shoulders and everything like that. Um, and I realized when I had gotten to this part that somehow my stitches were off and I didn't have the same amount in each one. So I'm going to be frogging this because I'd like to, I think, go down a size and then also, um, obviously fix the mistakes I made. But this will definitely be the yarn. I would love to have a hundred percent silk garment. So I'd really, really like to use this yarn in, in the new year. I know I keep saying that for all these, that I'd really like to use the yarn and I'd really like to have the project. Um, sometimes, you know, you just stall out on stuff. And honestly, two row stripes, I just stalled out. Um, once I made that mistake, it was kind of like, all right, well, the weather's getting cold anyway. Let's uh, put a pause on this one and wait for the new year. And I did just that, and now the weather's cold again, but I'd really like to have this, like I said. So this is, like I said, I have a lot of these bags. This is another Sincere Sheep bag. Um, this is Targi Breed Sheep, and it's just a little cotton drawstring bag from Sincere Sheep. Um, here's their little logo, if you can read it. I'll put it below too. Sincere Sheep, hand-dyed yarns and fibers. They use a lot of natural dyes in their yarn. They're beautiful. I've never knit with their yarn though, but I do have a lot of their notions and merchandise. So this is another Jessie made pattern. This yarn is University of Maryland yarn, which I did not go to University of Maryland, but I am from Maryland, as you can probably tell. Um, I live in DC now though. And this is, I cast this on in like April of 2020 and I made all the way through the body um, and it's really cute actually. I really like it. Do I think I'm gonna wear a University of Maryland t-shirt now at 27? Like no, probably not. So I think I'm probably gonna frog this and end up making a little pullover sweater, maybe the Cozy Classic Light with it because the yarn's really cool. It's pretty funky. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll find some mohair to hold with it because it is um, pretty wildly pooling if you look at it like this. It's pretty cool, but it's definitely not something that now three years later looking at this, I don't think I'll wear it. And then I have, sorry for the crinkling, one more project. So this is the Mount Pleasant tee. As you can see, I tried to make this pattern uh, three times and I ended up with one successful garment. So I'll show you the success really quickly. 
This is, my ends still aren't woven in. This is the Mount Pleasant tee, what it's actually supposed to look like. And this is knit in the Little Fox's yarn, who is my friend Gina, who lives in Virginia. Um, and you can see the lace hem and like all the detail of it and the colorway is perfect for like a little spring tee. So this is what the pattern is supposed to look like. Um, all my other iterations were like a bit unsuccessful, especially compared to that one. That one turned out awesome. Um, so this is the first ever garment that I tried to make. And I remember it took me three weeks to do the lace. Um, and it was just very not working. And I didn't really know why at the time, but I realize now after having knit for many more years than when I cast this on, this is Isayur Alpaca Merino, which is a very soft yarn. It's 50% alpaca, 50% um, non-superwash wool, but it's this is supposed to be a fingering weight pattern, and this is almost 300 yards per 50 grams. So it's a super fine yarn, you can kind of see. It's like super, super fine, and definitely not suitable for like a spring t-shirt, to be honest. Um, definitely alpaca grows and stretches more than I would like for a tee like this. So I actually already have a plan for this yarn. I have four skeins of it and it's enough to make the Felix pullover um, held with a non superwash undyed yarn that I have. Um, like I bought a big cone at one of the Maryland Sheep Festival a couple years ago. And so I'm gonna hold that with this and do a Felix either cardigan or pullover. Um, Cause I think that holding it with an undyed non superwash will give it a lot more structure and the alpaca content won't matter as much. But this is just like a complete kind of fail, to be honest. And it's been sitting unfrogged in this bag since 2017, maybe? It's been hanging out here for a long time and it definitely, I want this yarn to have it stay in the sun, but you can see it is like ramen. I'm gonna have to really, I think, wash and block this yarn before I can even knit with it. Um, so that's kind of been hanging out in this bag. I think it's been, it's moved with me literally five times, haven't touched it, hasn't left this little bag that I got it in from Looped in DC, which is fun because now Looped is my local yarn store again. Um, so very full circle to knit with this yarn, but definitely I have all these little cakes of it. Definitely, um, this was not it. This was not it. Um, so I'm happy to have that kind of at the forefront of my mind again and have a plan for the yarn, sorry and have a plan for the yarn because it's really a beautiful color and it's actually discontinued yarn now. Um, they make Alpaca Merino 2 now, which is a different, it's the same fiber content, but it's a different, I think, weight. Um, so I couldn't actually get more if I wanted to. So fingers crossed I have enough for the cardigan I wanna make. Um, but yeah, that's the whole bit. That's pretty cool. Um, that's really awesome. And I'm only keeping three out of the, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 projects I showed you I'm only keeping three of them so that's a really really good feeling definitely cool to have some kind of older yarn headed back into my stash um definitely feels really good to frog stuff it's fun it's so fun to frog stuff um I know a lot of people disagree but it feels so good to kind of just be like oh like enough of that you know enough of that <laughs> um yeah so thanks so much for watching um keep an eye out for my next video which will be everything I knit in 2022 um and let me know what you think of this one um and thanks for welcoming me back welcoming me back to youtube it's been really fun have a great afternoon